Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to restore backup and transfer data on the Infinix Hot 50 Pro Plus. Okay, so let's begin. So as you can see, the Infinix is on the left side. I just set, set, resetted my phone, sorry, and I'm in the setup process. So basically I need to now click on next. Now we have the information that our phone is getting ready and now we have the option copy apps and data so we are definitely interested in that so let's click on next and now we have to use another device so let's click on next again click on next and now we need to connect both of the devices to each other using the USB-C to USB-C cable so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna connect both of the phones so First, I'm gonna plug the cable to the Infinix and now to the second phone. Okay, now let's click on next and wait. Okay, now on the second phone we have connected to your new device. And now on the second phone we have the information, copy data to your, new, to your new device and we want to click on copy. Okay, so now the process has started, so we just need to wait. Okay, now we need to enter the password to our Google account, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay. Okay, getting ready to copy, this may take a few minutes, so we just need to be patient. Okay, and in here we can choose what we want to copy. So for now, as you can see, the apps, the device settings and the call history are currently selected. But let's say I don't want all of my, any of my apps to be, to be connected to be restored so I only want my device settings or no actually let's say I don't want all of my apps but for example let it be only the music okay so now let's click on ok and let's click on copy Okay, now we have the Google services in here in the location. We can allow to use location and allow scanning, but it's up to you. Now we want to click on accept. Also, we can turn on the backup. Now simply click on next in here. Select your default browser. Same with the search engine. Click on set as default. Now we have the Google Assistant, for now we can skip it. Also this and the copying process is still going, so let's wait until it will be finished. Okay, as you can see, copying is finished. We don't need to use this phone anymore, so I can click on close. Okay, and in here, apps, 21 apps were copied and will be installed after the setup and also the device settings and the call history have been successfully transferred. So let's click on done. And then let's wait. Okay, we don't need to log in here. We just can simply click on next, click on OK. For now, we also skip the skip method. In here also skip. I'm gonna tell you that mobile cloner doesn't work on those phones, I assume it's only for the Infinix phones, I don't know, but I've been trying to download this app to another phone to collect the data, but it doesn't work, so let's click on skip. Click on system navigation, I'll just choose the buttons, click on next. And now the phone will be ready to use. Okay, loading home screen. Oh, 
and we are ready to use our phone. Okay, so that was the first method. Okay, so we are again in the option to copy apps and data. So again, let's click on next, but for now we can't use other device. So let's click on OK. OK, we have the checking info. We need to wait. OK, now we need to sign in to our Google account, but please, please remember to log in to the Google account on which you made the backup. Also, if you don't know how to make a backup, also on our channel we have a bunch of videos how to create such a one, so if you want, you can look for it. So, now we, I need to log in, so give me a second. Okay, I just typed my email, now I'll need to type the password, so... Okay, now it should be working. Okay, I'm gonna be using this device, not my child. Okay, let's click on I agree. And in a second we should have our backups and options to restore it. Ah, uh, yeah, we have this restore data from another device. And in here all, we have also other backups because all of the backups are stored in the Google account. So also I've made backups for other devices. So now we want to select our Infinix Hot 50 Pro Plus. Let's click on it. And now we, we must choose what we want to restore. So I'll just leave it, leave it all. I want all of my apps, all of my contacts and the device settings. Also, if you click on apps, you can only choose the specific ones you want to restore. You don't have to restore them all. Okay, so once it's done, simply click on restore. The restoring data process has started, so let's wait. Okay, let's click on accept. We will turn on the backup also. Okay, now we click on next. In here again, we select our default browser and the search engine. Okay, in here click more. I'm gonna skip the Google Assistant. Also this, it doesn't matter for now. I'll just click on no thanks. Again, we need to wait. Okay, we don't have the Infinix ID. I don't have, so I'll just click on next. Click on okay, you can also create this password later in the settings. Okay, I don't want my unlock method. I'll just clip the mobile cloner because it doesn't work, I don't know why. Okay, let's click on buttons. The system navigation, also if you want, you can select the gestures. I'm just doing it for myself. So now let's click on this green arrow. And now the phone will be ready to use. Yeah, okay. So. That's the whole process. Thank you all for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.